with Billy Kratzer at, uh, at Omaha Country Club. Uh, Bill, you've transfer you transformed nice from your playing days into a you've got to be one of the greatest jobs in the world. Well, it is, and uh, you know, I, it gives me the opportunity to not only uh, be with some of my friends out here um, on the Champions Tour, but then it gives me a chance to to be with the guys on the PGA Tour, to where you know I'm right there with the guys and playing the best. So. Uh, to be able to play with the Tom Watsons, the Nicholas Trevino, Player, Arnold, uh, you go down the list, and then to be able to do TV and, and be able to do with be with Tiger, it's unbelievable. So, is, is it hard sometimes to be objective when you know that you're going to see them the next week? And I mean, that, sometimes that can put you in a tough spot. You know what? Most of the guys will say that I would I would much rather you be honest and, and if you're honest and fair in, in your criticism or critique, I don't think they can fault you. If if you do it just to kind of make a point or just to let someone hear you, then I think that becomes a problem. And I don't think any of us really do that. Uh, I mean, sure. Some criticize more than others, but if someone hits a bad shot, I'm just going to say they've hit a bad shot, and, and, and you move on from there. How would you assess the PGA Tour, um, and, and I guess just the quality of the play? It just seems like uh, week in and week out, uh, any different guy can win a golf tournament. Well, I think that's where you see the parity involved uh, with the PGA Tour. And any given week, yeah, you can have uh, 100 guys go in there and win a golf tournament. Uh, you go back to the, the FedEx Cup playoffs a few years ago when he Slocum was 124 and he wins the golf tournament. And he, he rides out all the way to uh, the Tour Championship. Uh, but the parity on the PGA Tour is deep. Uh, for a guy to win three or four or five tournaments like Tiger's done this year is quite the feat. Uh, and you have you have the Justin Rose, the Adam Scott, they're, they're, they're starting to transition to where they're going to take over the torch. You have a lot of guys in their 40s. You have Ernie, Nicholson, Retief, Furyk, all these guys in their 40s, so they're, they're kind of moving on. But what they pass down to the younger players, and you have the Ricky Fowlers, uh, the Hunter Mayhans, the Dustin Johnsons. You know, golf is in a nice transition right right now. And yeah. so as they hand that torch off, I think it's going to be great. You know, you talked about Nicholas and Trevino and, and some of the, the players of yesteryear. When you think of ball strikers, out of the, all, all those guys, who, who, who who's a Who's the best ball striker you ever saw? I would say that so far as being able to position the ball in the fairway and on the green uh, more times uh, accurately, distance-wise and everything, it'd have to be Lee Trevino. Uh, you know, he was able to, everyone thinks that Lee worked the ball left to right, but he was able to work the ball as effectively right to left. And, you know, he's won six major championships and the only one that he didn't win was the Masters, but uh, he was, Two, two, two across the board with the PGA, <laughs> U.S. and British. Uh, you had the opportunity to play with him several times. Was he fun to play with? Uh, I know he liked to talk a little bit. Did that get in some people's kitchens from time to well, time? I, you know, it could if you let it affect you. But I think, uh, I think all in all, everyone respects everyone's space out here on the on the tour, and, and everyone's out there to do a job. Uh, it's, it's not like it's an exhibition, it's, it's a job, so he was pretty good about it. He would joke, he'd kind of lighten it up a little bit, and, and he knew when to be serious and when, and when to kind of clown around. You get a chance to play much anymore? Not too much anymore, oh. but, but that's okay. Like I said, uh, able to you know, hang out here on the Champions Tour from time to time, and then uh, on the PGA Tour, be out there with the best players in the world. Bill Kratzer, thanks so much for your okay. time. Appreciate it.